planning to go to Copenhagen either by plane or on a cruise ship, then this video is for you. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pi and welcome to my channel, Pi Food and Travel. If you'd like to learn more about the PO Prisonia cruise on Northern Europe and Baltic Sea, click on the playlist on the top right corner of this video. Hello, 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 and welcome to Copenhagen. Denmark. We arrived this morning at 7 30 and now 8 a.m. I got up super early this morning and I'm going to see my friend from university. We haven't seen each other for I think wow almost like 30 years now, if not more than that. So we're gonna meet each other at the mall where the shuttle bus is going to drop um, the Pino passenger. So let me be the crowd. I haven't had breakfast. Gonna get out of the ship. Get on a shuttle bus and go see my friend, and then I will see you guys in Copenhagen. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to Copenhagen. At the Terminal Three, you can choose between tour excursion, shuttle buses, or hop on hop off bus. It's going to be a thirty-minute drive to town, or where they're going to drop us off in the in front of the mall. Everything's probably open at 10 o'clock, so you'll be so early. The location of the cruise port in Copenhagen is actually in central of Copenhagen, Denmark, and also known as Lagilini or Ocean Kine. Do, do excuse me if I don't pronounce it correct. I'll put the name of it so you know how exactly how it's spelled. The massive attractions are Tivoli Garden, historical amusement park with the stunning gardens and rides. Nihau Harbor colorful waterfront of restaurants, bars, and bus tours. The National Museum of Denmark explores Denmark history and culture. And one thing you cannot miss, of course, is the Little Mermaid, the iconic statue inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. For top experiences, the Canal Boat Tour is one that you can't miss. Admire the Copenhagen architecture and the harbour life. It's one neighbourhood, bohemian vibe and famous free town Christian. Explore Stoker's shopping street, pedestrian shopping and dining hub. Visit the Design Museum Denmark, discover Danish design heritage. Shore excursion, take the Copenhagen city tour for guided tour covering the main attraction. Castle and coastal line. Mrs. Cornberg Castle and scenic coastal towns. If you're a food lover, don't miss the food and drink tour. Sample local specialties and craft beers. Bike tour. Explore Copenhagen's bike-friendly street and parks. Let me tell you, there are lots and tons of bicycles in the city. They're everywhere. If you're pedestrian, you walk around the town, watch out too. And this one I really recommend, the Canal and Harbour Tour. Combine the boat tour and the harbour explosion. Don't miss out. And here for some practical information. The language is obviously Danish, but English is widely spoken, so you don't have to worry about it. The currency is Danish coin. But don't worry, you can pay with your credit card everywhere you go. Weather. Temperature climate is average temperature is 17 Celsius or 63 Fahrenheit in summer. Safety. Copenhagen is generally safe, but take normal precaution, especially when you're in a tourist area. What's about a pickpocket? Wi-Fi is available in cafe, restaurant, and public areas. 
Okay, so my friend gonna check us on the like a local birds. It's only a not notorious one. And then we're gonna go to the harbor and then get on the tourist one. Tips and insight. Buy Copenhagen cars for discounts in public transportation. Try traditional Danish cuisine at the local eateries. Explore neighborhoods like Vettenbro and Nerebro. Visit the Copenhagen Visitor Center for maps and guides. And if you have enough time, don't miss a stunning sunset at Nihau Harbor. Hey, good morning and welcome to the day 13 of this cruise. I got, I got up super early to make the video of the tour of the ship. Okay, my elevator is here now. Then we can have breakfast at the Peninsula restaurant. It's going to be the first time we're having breakfast in the restaurant. Oh, well, no break here. So we can continue. Um, deck six. So, um, yeah, yes, it was lovely. I met my friend from university. We had been with each other for, for almost 30 years. So he took me around um, Copenhagen. It was beautiful. It was lovely. The sun was out and everything. So uh, this morning, I just mentioned just now, I got up early and did the tour of the ship. Okay, somebody coming in? I gotta go. Hello, good morning, how are you this morning? morning? Good, and you? You want some dairy coffee? Um, coffee please. Stop. Yeah, that's black. Some dairy coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, to breakfast, I start off with fruit salad. Got my toast. 
butter, jam and marmalade. Of course, coffee and oranges. Oh, can you believe it? Today is day 14 already. I got a lot done today. I'm so happy I did the walkthrough um, of the ship this morning and I'm posting it now on YouTube so you guys be, you probably have seen that already. If you haven't, check out the link at the corner there or check out the playlist. Okay. So tonight is the, uh, um, Going the last black tide night, so I'm, I'm having dinner at the speciality restaurant at the oh, Upi Korean. Upi Korean, I think that's that, yeah, that's it. That's it. I say it's right this time. Okay, so I got an hour still, but I'm going to stop at the crow bar. The cross net, the cross crow bar. It's a cross net crow. Crow, not claw, it's crows, like, you know, crows, black crow. Um, crows net on deck 16, and the restaurant is next, to, next door to it. I'm gonna go have the dinner. I, I haven't got, I haven't checked what on the show tonight, but I might check that because by the time I finish between, within, there will be like, you know, around like 9 30, 10, and then the show is 10 30, so I might go check that. And tomorrow, the last night on PNO Britannia. I have the dinner with the show at the uh, Lamb Life. Lamb Light. Lamb Light. Lamb Light. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let me go before I get too crazy anyway. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for being with me. Alright. So, um, I'll see you at. Good evening. Hello. Yes. Hi, Hello. Along with your butter, along with your bread. And here sounds so good and my butter. How about the bread for you? Yeah, I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just one. It's good. I'm going to get one. I'm just going to get Wow. Oh, it's it's nice. Nice. Yeah, so, yeah, I think it's for the Chardonnay. Chardonnay? What? Uh, in here we got to have Chardonnay. You want to be in Blanc for us? Because Chardonnay is not available. Why? The Spanish in the store. No, we have. Yeah, yeah because it's long cross, no? The store will uh, not much to much order because it's long cross. Only for the long cross. Oh, okay. And then it's coming for after tomorrow, the store will come. Okay. Yeah, we have this one available. This uh, for this one for both sides. This one is nice. Gabi de Gabi is available also. Three quarts is English wine if you want. You want to try? It's very popular here. This wine? Yeah. Plus, uh, they are both large or small? Yeah, 250. Yes. Just a pig, can I have your time? Yeah. Yeah, well, you can have your time. Yeah. 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 Hello. 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 Yes, please. Wow, it's much better than the um, Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Every single time I order the lobster, so we're in a dim light somehow. Well, I guess maybe it's supposed to be like luxuries. So they give me like side salad, new potatoes, asparagus, and my lobster. Oh, really nice. Are you ready to this now? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what are you Okay, hold on. I got some questions. So, uh, it's in the banana peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, like and yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. 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 uh, uh, yeah. okay. yeah. okay. yeah. 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 Lollipop. Lollipop. Is that what it is? Oh, oh fancy some banana paste. Okay, so we got a free dessert. Is but shop white shovel and raspberry lollipop. Cute. It's more like a talking to pen. This way, but. Hey, welcome to day 14 and tomorrow we will arrive in Southampton early in the morning. So excuse the mess behind me. So um I have to pack and get all the stuff ready tonight. Uh, all the bag have to be all the luggage that you want the stuff to carry out have to be out by um six PM this afternoon. Um normally other ship they give you like until 9 p.m. and also the luck is that you don't have to get the new one to choose it the old one that you came in because when you print it out it's already had um, the color code on it so they know um where the luck is to go to put together for you to collect them um when you disembark that's quite clever so you don't have to you know go to the front desk or reception and get another tag um so that's a very good idea I'm going to have breakfast now. Tonight I have a um, reservation at the Lime Light restaurant at 7 p.m. with a live music. So we'll see how that goes. The dinner last night was very good. Um, I got, they sit me in a, they, they said that the table they gave me was in a kind of like strange position. It's right, right behind the, the front of the, the reception, you know, where you walk in and people, a lot of people walking past, but I, I wasn't happy with it, where they put me. And, but the rest of the, the dinner was very good. So it was good. Anyway, let me get breakfast. Okay. So it's a lunch on 23rd. So the last three day tomorrow we will arrive in Southampton. <laughs> uh, I'm still not sure what I like.
Welcome to the Lamplight Club. Unfortunately, our performer wasn't feeling well that night, so we didn't have any show. Just had the dinner, and that was it. They refund some of the money, not all of it, which I understand, but it was so disappointed. I actually make a joke with the guy at the entrance. I said, "Oh well, you can stand up and you know go on the stage and sing for us." He just laughed, but at the end he apologized and gave me an extra dessert. So the staff were very friendly, just to make it up. I understand that you know we are human, we're not robots. So sometimes it doesn't feel well, but maybe next time. But somehow I still disappointed. Good morning and welcome back to Southampton. And we have arrived um, like an hour ago. So now it's six thirty. I have to go have breakfast at the buffet upstairs because I was too late to um, get on a queue for the peninsula. By the time I turn on my app, about quarter past six, it's already fully booked. So if you guys uh, on the last day of the, of the cruise you want to go have breakfast in a restaurant, make sure you make um reservation very early in the mornings, you know. Anyway, so let me go have breakfast and hopefully see you at the port. Welcome back to Southampton and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have learned something and enjoy watching it. Just as much as like me, enjoy doing it for you guys. Alright, it's been a great pleasure. I'll see you in Southampton. Bye-bye. The disembarkment wasn't too bad. It took about 45 minutes and once you're off the ship, there were plenty of staff to help you guide where to go from the crew port to get to town or the airport. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. That will be well appreciated. Bye for now and see you at the next episode.